It is 1029. That means it's time for some celebrity dish. All right. Should we bring in the birthday hey. girl? Yes. Yes. Can I? Happy Can birthday. I? Happy Thank birthday. Thank you, everybody. Well, we, we got you some food and, uh, and some drinks. You just have to stick around for lion lunch hour. Yes, I definitely will. Food See, and drinks. You've been doing it big on the gram. I saw what was it today or yesterday that you posted a little something? I think it was this morning. Okay. Yeah. They woke me up. There's more. There's more. <laughs> There's more. So I hope you're not tired. It's my big 35th birthday. Ooh. What did you call it though? Um, 35. Did you say 35. 35. Yeah. Not 35, yeah. but 35. 35. Yeah. I'm so blessed. And if I would have told 10-year-old me that I would be celebrating my 35th birthday on TV, she Aww. would not have believed me. So I'm so happy to be here. I uh, love that. This is great. We're happy to have Thank you. you. We're gonna continue the celebration for a while now. Yes. yes. In your yeah. honor. <laughs> All right. Well, Chloe uh, Kardashian's love life is uh, either being put on blast or under the microscope. And it's no different with big sis Courtney, who has Chloe sitting under a lie detector test. Check this out. Are you sleeping with Tristan? No, I'm not. I'm really not. Sam? Yes, that's true. Bravo. I would die if it said I was. Switcheroo. Chloe and Courtney got candid during a video for Vanity Fair. The 14-minute video also sees Courtney answering some juicy details about her relationship with new hubby Travis Barker. As for Chloe, who welcomed a son with ex Tristan, she says she's reached a new level of peace, saying, quote, it only hurts me by holding on to all of this stuff, so I let it go. And while this whole thing may be cathartic for Chloe, Dominique, I'm going to ask you, would you take a lie detector test on TV uh, with folks asking about your personal yeah, maybe, business? Maybe like on your birthday or something. No. I mean, we got, let's take no, a lie no. detector test. We on just happen to have as a present to you. <laughs> so you wouldn't Absolutely do it. Absolutely not. Even on my Instagram, I do say, you know, private life, private, but uh, I do, do live public life, public. Yeah. So my public life as my stage name, Dominique Dediva, you guys can have it all. I can be transparent with everyone, yeah. make sure I'm relatable. But when it comes to my real personal life, mm -hmm. honey, I have to let you know, you don't know me like that. Yeah, what, what no, she's the, not kidding, because I don't even know her government name. You know, I just know her by Dominique. I have friends that, that, that don't know dig. my government name. <laughs> you got people, though, that love you, and they, but they want to dig, though. Is it I hard know. if you have that, and you got to keep that separated, the public persona versus the private? No, because I truly believe there's an art to, like, being transparent and sharing, like, girl, I've been there before one time. This guy, you know, I can be transparent yeah, yeah, yeah. without exactly saying, like, if it's right now, or if it was mm. something in the past, or putting in the names to it, but I mean, the Kardashians, honey, they yeah, don't have an excuse. We've seen 12 there. seasons of your yeah. life, so yeah. you're going to let you're gonna tell us. I feel We're, like if there's something new to come out, that's going to be the surprise <laughs> right. at this point, right? <laughs> right. By the way, uh, no, oh no. my God, no. Okay. No but lie it's, detector? It's really, it seems like a drinking game gone horribly oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. That yeah. part. Because really why do you need a lie detector test when you can just play Never Have I Ever? Exactly. There you go. <laughs> By the way, I feel woefully underdressed for her birthday party. Here. I know, no, right? They told me it was ugly sweater day. I was like, listen, honey, it's my birthday. She said I'm ugly who? Yeah, exactly. I'm setting the rules here. <laughs> Y'all look great. It's okay. You're <laughs> exempt. It's okay. All right. Well, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Rinna is once again dividing the internet. This is like what she does. When is she not dividing the internet? Right. Fans have a lot of opinions about her latest look. Speaking of um, ugly Christmas mm -hmm. sweaters, mm -hmm. we want to bring in producer Chris for more details on this. Yeah, well, we're actually talking about a haircut here. So this is actually something I can relate to a little bit because... People are divided about how they feel about it, which happens every so often when you make a dramatic change. So if you know Lisa Rinna, you know she has a signature hairstyle, one that aside from a flashy wig now and then hasn't really changed much through her career. But this that you're looking at is her latest look. Some people raved about the cut. They compared it to Julia Roberts as Tinkerbell in Hook. However, as is the case with everything, not everyone was a fan. Some people joke that her stylist must be Team Kathy Hilton, <laughs> referencing their famous feud. So my question for you guys is, Jeanette, I know you went with a natural look last year, yeah. and that was a big change for you. Steve, I know you used to rock a mullet. You cut that off. That was a big change wow. for you. Flow but have real. you done dramatic hair oh, changes yeah. before? I thought, so I did the like the Halle Berry cut. Ooh. Ooh. I learned the hard way. I'm going to need a picture to keep on hand anytime <laughs> right. we need to throw that. No, it just... is literally set to private all of the pictures on my Facebook. No, no, no. Chris, because uh, I was going through out. a moment. And so I cut it all off and I learned very quickly, we honey, need... you are no Halle Berry or anything oh, near stop. that. What? I'm telling y'all, for real. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm Team Dominique on this one. Yeah. When you make a dramatic change like that, though, how much thought went into this before you actually went with the look? 
Like, was this like, oh, like in tomorrow I'm going to do this? Or was this like for yeah. months no, agonizing? Should I do like it or not? it was like a couple days. Oh. Which I feel like if it's like, if it's like, how do I say it? Like an emotional thing. It wasn't yeah. a breakup. That typically it's just a few days that you yeah. have to think on like, it. Like, I think I'm going to do it and then I do it. Right. Type of thing. I, exactly. And the minute I washed my hair, because you know our hair curls up. Yep. So it's hard to get the hair to yeah. flat iron it. It was a hot mess. But um, <laughs> as for her look... What do y'all think? I don't know. It's kind of spiky. I mean, honestly, you can, as long as you look like you're having a blast, even if you don't necessarily like your hair, other people will start liking your hair. For my 21st birthday, I told my, you know, my guy I wanted to have, like, um, anyway, he shaved my head too much. I had an entirely shaved head on one side. And I didn't know how I felt when I left, you know, the salon. Uh... But the next three days, everyone was stopping me, like, oh. I love your hair. And then I was like... Of course, I, I wanted it like just this. Own it. This yeah. is my idea. You I love the just trust in your salon relationship. <laughs> right. <laughs> I was sitting under the dryer like, oh uh, my isn't god. Isn't that the worst feeling? Oh my god. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I, I feel like with producer Chris, who has I, Chris, I can't give you a signature look because I feel like you change it up as much as anybody. Yeah. Um, but do you put a lot of thought process in, in, into doing it, or is it just like it's time? Uh, basically, what happens is it gets so long that I have no choice but to then <laughs> cut it all off. But the yeah. problem is it and I know Tucker Barnes can relate to this he gave me advice one time eventually it just doesn't grow back no, no. Way you say. that's why I always say let well, it go now when you know it's still growing yeah. because at some exactly. point it's not going to and for me older and wiser easiest to maintain is just the best so yeah I'm sticking my views from today. Steve Shannon no, I'll, I'll show you the picture so. <laughs> yeah I do like the cut though Chris epic. all right well we all know uh, just how close Miley Cyrus is to count country icon Dolly Parton and that bond goes far beyond Dolly being her godmother Cyrus was asked in a recent interview if she would ever consider playing Parton in a mm -hmm. Biopic. Miley said she basically wouldn't have to act, jokingly saying, quote, I'm sucked, I'm tucked and plucked just like she taught me, adding she and her godmother have never uh, spoken about the possibility of her playing her because she feels like she's already doing it. A lot of fans love this idea, saying that the two look alike, although uh, Miley jokes she's not quite there in the bust department. Yeah, I was thinking, like, I don't know, I like Miley, but there's just... Something, two things that are Something missing. missing. Right. When you say Dolly Parton, there's two things that I just don't quite see on. I mean, that's an easy Miley. fix, though. That's what we could just we can get that fix. done. Easy fix. I, um, think, I think whoever plays Dolly is going to be picked by Dolly. I think yeah. it's, you know she's at that point and she's beloved. But I wouldn't be surprised if she goes with her. Me neither. She was Me tight neither. with uh, Miley's dad. So. I didn't know yeah. that she was her godmother, though. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I mean, cool. talk about tight, tight. Right. I'd love to see Talk it. Talk about mullets. Miley's dad back <laughs> Miley's in the day. Miley's dad. That was oh, one of the yeah. classics of all time. All right, Dominique, we're, uh, you're not getting rid of us just yet. We're, like, taking up her whole birthday. She's going to be on Line Lunch Hour. So. Yes. So stick around <laughs> for Line Lunch Hour because I hear we got some amazing things we're cooking up. It's your birthday. party, of course. Yes. Basically, it's Line Lunch Hour for Dominique. Everyone's Holly, invited. Uh, Dominique, I you. think you need an ugly Christmas sweater. No, 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 no. To wear <laughs> on your birthday. <laughs>